don't give a crap if you covered yourself in peanut butter and had a 15 hooker gangbang. Bruh. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey, guys. Hey. We're back here. It's been a while. It's been a bit. Today's Halloween. And as Mark uh, pointed out earlier when we were watching this, this is the 18th anniversary of the release of the first Saw film. This film is legal in <laughs> here. No, in, no, in Alberta and in Montreal <laughs> or Quebec. I know they did with the Paranormal Activity movies after too, but like this was like a tradition for a while. Like Halloween was Saw. Oh, saw. Like you just, that, you knew what it was getting, you knew what you are getting. And this is like when it started it all off was, you know, 04. With... They, they not only did it start off that trope, it started off James Wan's career. It yeah. started off the writer's career. Yeah, as Lee well. Winnell, who's also, who star... acts in this. And yeah. fortunately doesn't act a whole lot anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which, which, who is he in He's, he's Adam. He's, he's the, the other guy? Yeah, he's Ezra, oh, Ezra, he's Ezra, he's, Miller. He's Ezra Miller. <laughs> but Man, he looks a lot like he Ezra, does really like Ezra Miller. Which is funny because like really that would be the true horror. <laughs> be locked in a room of Ezra right now. <laughs> Did you want to fight? Is that you? Yeah, no, it started that. This guy also went on to write and direct uh, Upgrade yeah. and The Invisible Man. Truly speaking, while some of the parts of this film have definitely aged, <laughs> it is 2004. They kidnap you and drug you before you know it, you're lying in a bathtub and your kidneys are on eBay. Certain parts still hold up, and it's still pretty impressive that they put this together with the budget that they yeah, had. I mean, and they the, all filmed they in they one sh building, they w one location. They shot it in eighteen days. Like I love one location. Eighteen films. days. Yeah, apparently it was only eighteen days. Okay, yeah, just Pete the poor man's uh, car <laughs> stuff does make sense. <laughs> they they definitely uh, know knew how to use their budget in this movie. The gore is great. It's fun. I mean, it basically, you know, this and maybe like Eli Roth's Hostel really started the like torture porn thing. Which Although, is funny because this isn't really that. It doesn't, they called, they used it a lot for that. The other movies would turn into yeah. that. But yeah. this one is, it's a story that just so happens to have this slightly torture related I mean, stuff, which appears at the beginning and then it doesn't appear again until the end. <laughs> other than a few staccato flashes. Yes. Oh um, God, the static, but, like the... I mean, ooh, we're, we're talking about... We're talking about doing this whole franchise, and uh, I, I really like the first Saw movie, mm -hmm. and I basically don't like any of the others. Like, there's there's some merit to some of them, and I think, yeah. I, think I like three and four a little bit. Three has probably one of the best slash awful, most awful deaths in the entire series. And then for some reason, five comes to mind for having like a script that's just above brain dead. I literally can't tell you any differences. Like I know three, three is the one where he dies, right? Yes. Where they kill the main killer in their yeah. Jigsaw franchise. Actually kind of looking forward to rewatching them because most yeah. of them I've only seen once. Exactly the same for me. I, <laughs> I think I've seen the third one a couple of times and uh, then the first one and then maybe the second one twice. But aside from that, this is kind of going down a very big memory nostalgia yeah, lane. Yeah. I like how Juan puts this film together. It's definitely put together by guys who are just butting into this. Like these guys yeah. would go on to hone their skills from this film exceptionally. I which... mean, J James Wan is a true master of horror, and this mm -hmm. is like our first introduction to him. Like this was his first major movie. I mean, I like that you reference the fact that it's a story movie because there is a story to this. We have several characters, lots of twists and turns. There's all oh, sorts yeah. of like things going on. We've got like Danny Glover and um, and his partner. We've got like what's going on with um, Dr. Gordon's kid and wife. We've got them in the bathroom. We've got all this other kind of backstory and flashbacks yeah. we're getting. Like there's a lot going on in this movie and it's all connected together. It, it comes together well. really well. Yeah, especially in the final climax. And ah. it's not just because of the banger track. Will you murder a mother and her child? To save yourself. Which it admittedly has to be said. How long did they have? Like I had, yeah, had three, three weeks. weeks yeah, Charlie was... Charlie Closer. Um, Closer. I'm not sure. I've never really known how to pronounce the name, but Closer, whatever. He had three weeks to put this score together, and uh, I mean, honestly, it's fine he just for the, the most part. I think he just put the theme together. So yeah, you know what, like guys? the rest. The rest of the score is. I mean, it's a lot of industrial driving, yes. like ambience, which you know, I mean, is very 2004. Mm -hmm. But like that. I think it's called Hello Zep is the actual name of the track, but it became like the Saw theme that just like... Da -da -da, yeah, and da -da -da, it also da -da 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 -da. went... Game over. Oh, I think so the, good. The series would eventually go into its own tropes of literally having a major twist reveal with the theme yeah. at the end. Of every film. Like, this one, it works, obviously. This, the story for this, it's great. I love the way it does. There's, um, like, before we get 
kind of the ending. Like, I love everything leading up to it. I think it's great the way they introduce this whole Jigsaw character. They do try to lean in that maybe it's the Doctor, and then they yeah. then maybe it's Zep, and maybe Lee Wanell's character, like Adam, the other guy yeah, in the bathroom, maybe he has more going on. They do really well kind of creating these, like, different lines. I mean, watching it now, we all know what's turned out, mm -hmm. but I, I mean, I saw this cool. movie on Halloween in, in 2004. I think I saw it as a double feature with The Grudge. They kept me guessing the whole way through, and, uh, Oh, and yeah. everything's really well done. I mean, the scene, although watching it here, it was seemed brighter than I remember it. Yeah. Um, but the scene where uh, Lee Wanell's Adam is uh, in, his apartment. in his apartment in the dark and he's using his flash. Someone there? They're like, oh man, that seems stressful yeah. and great. It's because creepy. <laughs> And it's got that like pseudo Texas Chainsaw yeah. Massacre um, film click sound, yeah. and then like the reveal, the pig, the flash goes and the pigman jumps out. Like it's so cool. Like yeah. even the laugh of the doll, Billy the doll, we should mention. Like, yes, a horror a, icon. Yes, I have this Funko Pop. Which I funny because I always remember the doll. I forget the pig face. Yeah, I, but I mean that's the thing is like that doll. It was great. I mean, I'm pretty sure it actually makes a cameo in their next movie, Dead Silence, as well. I think so. I think so, he's got yeah. like a. I mean, he should. The movie's, Which actually, about, the movie's about dolls. You're bringing that up, like the production design. Can we watch? But... Can we watch Dead Silence instead of watching Jigsaw again? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> the last one's just garbage. Um, but, like, I think that the production design like went into a lot of detail. Like the room with the guy who has to uh, try and find the the combination of yeah. the wall. Uh, yeah, that's that's really well wall, done. The barbed wire is really well done. One. Even the room that like Shawnee Smith's in um, for her reverse bear trap thing, which I guess is probably the most like famous trap in the movie. Yeah. Like it's the that's one, the one that people keeps remember. On referring to. And they bring it back later in the franchise too, I'm yeah, pretty they sure. Did. Yeah. Um, oh god. Oh yeah. They also used it as part of their pitch video when they were trying like in addition to the short, they shot a scene where Lee Winnell's character wears the reverse bear trap and did that scene. Well, so I, I, they knew what they were getting and well, they designed most of the shit themselves. Well, yeah, that was so the cool. idea with these, like all of these tortures and all of these like traps and whatnot. In the first few movies, they actually were kind of coming up with them. They had to create them off the top of their head. But then as this started becoming a franchise, uh, spewer. They were just going and looking at obscure medieval torture methods, which just <laughs> helped propel the series into this complete absurdity uh, that it would be uh, known the, for. The, like, whereas this one's torture for the stuff. most part, it's grounded. Yeah, it's quite like there are some of them. It's just like okay, fuck, I, I, no one could do that one. Like, particularly the one with the combinations on the yeah. wall. I always hate that one because it's like, man, no one could fucking do that. I one. hope his hands weren't covered in that flame stuff because the moment he picks something, yeah, you know, exactly. And the fact like, that the, the, can, the fact that the candle is just like dying too. Yeah. So some of them obviously are a little bit. Like, and are we harshly. supposed to believe that's the only light in that room? Because that scene's also super bright. Yeah, exactly. In general, it's really well done. I mean, there's a little bit of melodrama in some of the acting. Yeah, the acting gets better as the movie It does goes get better. On. Well, it's, it's they quite... shot it. They shot all the bathroom stuff. They shot it in chronological order. That makes sense because yeah, everyone yeah, gets better. Carrie <laughs> always <laughs> seems to care more as the movie goes yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. Like... It's a little surprising. You'd almost think it would go the other way, but he's, he's like, great oh, by the end. Towards the end, <laughs> but no. And then leading towards the end, the twist at the end is probably still one of the best twists. Yeah. In horror, I mean, in horror, they film they set up this thing that it's yeah yeah it might be got to be like top tier, in like top twenty. Because top I mean, 10. he's they 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 sell it. It's Zep. It, he's the guy, like they recognize him. And they the do the last person they show, you'd expect and is the dude who's been that, in the room the whole time. And then dead. we get it, and they're they're searching Zep for a key, and they find the tape recorder. He listens to the tape recorder, and the song starts kicking in. Just mm -hmm. dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun, and, and, and just, just you just show, see they yeah. pan slowly down, and Jigsaw just gets it's up off the ground. <laughs> I, I remember oh, watching that with my friend at his house, and I got out of my chair and I was walking around the room going, "No way!" I was I was legitimately mad when it first like when it first happened. I was mad. I was like, I, I call movies. I'm like, I, I'm a film studies major. Like I watch movies from, oh, yeah. all the time. I'm usually good at calling these things, and I like felt like cheated because I was like, "There's no way that I missed this. Like this must like." Blah, blah, blah. And then, it, like, you go back and watch it again. He's in it. He's, he's like, there, he's on the and, and, and table. he played it the whole time. He's there. There's little like um, anecdotal kind of references to him being on the floor. Like, there's mm -hmm. there's just some really great foreshadowing bits throughout the movie that really lead to it, and it pays off. 
And I mean, it's it's one of the greatest twists in horror movie yeah, history. Yeah, it, like, it's something. It's one of the greatest twists in movie history. It is, and it's something that they the series would continually try to recapture, but they never could. And other films would sort of try to do this. And at the same time, this film came out at a kind of a crucial time for horror because <laughs> 2000, like late 90s horror, was either Scream or incredibly bad yeah. or runoffs of it are obscure, strange, pseudo-horror, which also wasn't working yeah, too well. I have a soft spot for a lot of them, but I mean, like, objectively, there's a lot of dog shit horror. Yeah, and so, like, this was, like, the grungy... Not, not like, you're okay, though, not yeah. your dog shit. Or the grungy, like, the new metal version of horror. <laughs> there's that so much new metal. There's so much new metal in this. It revitalized it. James yeah. Wan essentially did something that, you know, he, he can still hold on to. For, I mean, like, it, we're 2022 and the guy's still making bangers. Yeah. And I'm stoked for whatever he's coming out with next. I cool loved too. Malignant. Yeah, like, like, like even though Malignant. I didn't like, even hate Aquaman. I hate the whole DC uh, oh, universe. So. Like, I, I like <laughs> Malignant as completely wackadoo as that movie is. I just remember being like, uh, wow, this movie is shot uh, way better than I, it should I be. I loved that movie so I loved everything about that like, movie. He's Weird, like, all right, that movie's backwards gonna... Matrix oh, nonsense. Yeah. At the end. I think it's like, okay, we're going to put zero money into the acting, zero money into the actual story, but we are going to put all of it into the cinematography and the fight choreography. Because oh, that's, so that's the last thing people are going to expect I mean, in a horror movie. And that's the James Wan comes out and he like, I mean, that twist, I mean, I don't know if that twist is going to go down in history. It's the as, wackiest as, one I've seen. But I mean, it's de it definitely should get mentioned shortly after you're talking about the twist in Saw. Yeah. Like, the James Wan managed to do it again as, like, and it's a great twist in Malignant. Yeah. But this twist, like, everything about the end of Saw, like, every, from the get go, like, from the moment you get told it's Zep. And the stressful scene with the mom and daughter, with mm -hmm. Danny Glover's character running in and trying to save the day, with the and then he dies too. With the which, terrible, oh. terrible poor man's process. Oh yeah, like where they're in the car chase. And it's, like, I mean, like, it's stylized shaking. in a kind of, It's like shaking the camera, shaking the car, and like some half with super super black all editing. around it. Which is funny because like the editing's not bad either, and sometimes like some of this is a very sped up, very it's, dark it's very CSI. I was gonna say it's it's somewhere between CSI and like a a new metal music. Video. Yeah, like, the, a lot of like. If he hadn't directed music videos before this, it would have been very surprised, especially with the with the low yeah. circling, uh, looking upwards, Michael Bay shot cameras. <laughs> kind of going into there are a few things that have aged a little bit. Like we said, the acting has yeah. aged a little bit. The pacing and some of the bits is yeah. Kind the of a little he bit. definitely found more as he kind of moved mm -hmm. on. Um, and, and, and just getting and what the he writing, needs out of the actors. writing is <laughs> ooh, the writing is bad. They've definitely improved as writers yes. over the last yeah, twenty they're, years. They're, I mean, some of that's also like Lee Winnell's delivery, but like yeah. they're also just corny ass yeah. lines that are just like. I don't give a crap if you covered yourself in peanut butter and had a fifteen hooker gangbang. But still, in terms of what this film set up, what it did, and it, anyone who would watch it today, aside from being like any. Gen Zers or nothing else being confused by the cell phones. <laughs> by the cell phones, pagers. The, the tape recorders. Tape recorders. Um, yeah, there's some definite... Um, technology of the old. The, in, uh, what's the antiquated technology in this movie? <laughs> Aside from that, though, I think that for any who have not seen this film, the twist would still be pretty yeah. freaking brutal. It'd be pretty, like, I, raw. Like, it makes me like my kids like horror movies. Like I'm looking forward to being able to show this one to them. So like I, you know, I can just watch Serenity's head explode. Oh yeah, because it's ah, it's so good. Yeah, no, watching like ah, it would be actually really cool to see someone who's never seen this yeah. and see that twist and just like watch their face as a. So in terms of my rating system, what would you give? This? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm probably giving it like I mean, I'd probably say a five point five, but I know you don't like me doing half numbers, so I'll probably go. With, I think I'm gonna go with a five. I'm like leaning towards a six, but we actually for we agree yeah like actually 100 percent agree <laughs> the the twist is huge obviously yeah. but some of the road getting there's a little bit bumpy it's not yeah. bad it's just no, it's not it's as, a solid movie it's like, just not you, i mean you remembered this movie for the I, twist I, I, it's I mean, kind of like guys it's kind of like the usual suspects if you guys pay attention to like my rating system is uh, like fun based a lot like i mm -hmm. definitely gave some of those friday the 13th and um never announced your movies higher ratings than i should have out of love for them, and I do love this movie a lot, but I'm, I'm gonna try to be more objective. And I mean, it is, it's great. The twist is fantastic. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of really good stuff in this. But it's also like a very evidently super low budget movie made by, at the, you know, some amateurs. Yeah. And uh, there's some foibles and some missteps there. It still manages to be great. It tells mm -hmm. the story it wants to tell, and it tells it well. 
Um, that's why I sound, I'd lean towards a six, but I think like, I think I end up giving it a five out of seven. Yeah, no, I, I agree. The same number. Yeah. Like it's, like I said, it's, it's great. It has a lot of good parts to it. Some parts have not aged as well. And most of the parts that like, anyone ever talks about, of course, is the twist. And it kind of makes me think of like, like I said, usual well, suspects. I was going to say, we, 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 we talked a lot during the movie about how much shit we forgot. Yeah, that like you just forget about like not. whole scenes. You forget yeah. like I totally forgot about. I remembered how Sing died. Yeah, like, I remember, the, remember but how that whole thing there with the dude died. with the drills. With I the totally drill, forgot that whole scene. Which is like that. Also, if you think about <laughs> yeah. it, it's like why is that set up? Did he know that cops are all of a sudden going to come? Like he just had this set yeah. up. I wonder if it comes back. I wonder if there's like that game shows up in another movie at all. That'd be interesting. Well, if that it dude does. just shows up. Maybe yeah, I, something you know like that'd be cool. But yeah, we'll see. Because I, I know that this franchise did try really hard to kind of turn back on itself and reference itself yeah, in like and, different ways. And then, wait a minute, are didn't we going to see at one point, are we going to see the leader of, um... <laughs> Jesus, Sarah. Good contribution, Sarah. Good, good, yeah. Oh, Greece. Oh, oh, Yeah, Chester. Yeah, Chester yeah. Bennington's in yeah, one of these. Just, He's Jesus in Christ. one of the Chester Bennington's in this. You can Ch edit out the part where you failed miserably. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Chester. Um, Chester Bennington dies, I think, in the last one that was technically chronological. Yeah. I think he dies in the final cut. Yeah. Quote, unquote. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to checking this franchise again. I really had fun watching this movie. Yeah. Uh, it was a delight. Same. No, it was like it was a good memory lane. Yeah. And I'm actually excited to get disappointed as yeah, we yeah. go through this series because <laughs> I remember the second one's like a complete fun, like a complete change I, the second one I hated the second one it's kind of grown on me over time I, I just remember um, that one it's guy it's the only other one I've seen a, more than once it's the gun I remember there's the one huge guy, dude the dude's just a, the yeah. biggest fucking dick it's like I don't want you to live at all yeah I mean that's the one you know Darren Lynn Boseman kind of takes the reins after this he mm -hmm. wrote two and directed two three and four so and then uh -huh. Spiral as well, he directed. Yeah, and then we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna get into some, some. We'll see how much of this can actually be seen on YouTube. <laughs> anyways, guys, yeah. thank you for thank watching. You. Uh, happy Glad Halloween to be back. To happy you. Halloween. Yeah, and we're excited because, well, we we thought about doing the Halloween series, but I think Halloween ends with. Oh cool, God! Yeah, he mentioned in the review. I fucking yeah. hated that movie yeah, so much. Yeah, a little bit of a sour note in our tank. Oh, I hated so that movie. Let's, let's, <laughs> we we talked about doing the Saw ones for a while and. You know, we had a real fun time doing the Friday and the Nightmare series, it eventually taking a little far longer than we should have thought. Yeah. We'll be, hopefully, a lot faster with yeah. these ones. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Happy Halloween, and uh, Cheers, guys. see you guys next time. Bye.